Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome to the very last day and the very last video from Vlog Angeles. Of course I thought there was no other way that I could leave this place without going to a cards and coffee event. So, I've got my coffee and I've got my car with huge thanks to the guys at Car Page. We're going to be driving this white Huracan Spider over to the Malibu Cars and Coffee event. Let's go! Now, I might have been in LA for seven weeks, but I'm still British. And so even though it's about 12 degrees right now, we've got the roof down, but we're gonna be cruising with our heated seats on, I think, to oh, Malibu. Yes. Also, bloody hurricanes, no bloody, what have I done with my seatbelt here? No bloody cup holders. So I'm gonna be in auto, really no cup holders? auto mode and strada. Oh, I just, I'm just, this is, <laughs> this is how I operate. This is why I need coffee, people. Now, in a nice romantic twist, not only am I finishing Vlog Angeles with a coffee and a supercar, but I'm actually heading to the Cars and Coffee event that was the first Cars and Coffee event I went to. It is in Malibu, it's on Pacific Coast Highway. And on the first day I arrived, I had no idea what either of those things were. But now they are very familiar to me. And I haven't been back. Are you giving me a flipping? What are you doing? I thought you were, just, I thought you were flipping me no, off. No, nothing, nothing. <laughs> um, I haven't been back to this event since I went on my very first day. So hopefully it will be as special and as awesome as I remember. It's very small. I have no idea what the cars will be. They were running a tiny bit late, but I think we're going to be arriving in style. So yeah, I'm just excited to get there. We've got the sun coming up. We're in a bloody hurricane spider. And it is my last day in Los Angeles. <laughs> We have arrived. I cannot see into the event yet because we are so damn low on the road. Uh, like most American cars and coffee events, people have probably been here for about three hours by now. Um, but we will have a little dive in. Oh, this is a Shelby GT350. Oh, look at that's that. That's a GT350. That GTR, though. That's a, no, that's a GT350R. No, but this GTR. <laughs> oh, no, look at that. Oh, and that Vantage. Oh, oh, oh. And the SL. Oh, there's lots going on. Where should we park? It's all kicking off. <laughs> so here we go, we have arrived at Cars and Coffee and this GTR is simply the best thing I think I've seen for my entire trip here in LA. It is such an awesome intimate little car park here, some great cars on display, let me show you what's turned up. This event is becoming like a modified exotics or a June supercars event. What was quite a small intimate meet when we turned up. It's now, was Paul photo bombing me? It's now got a whole load of like modified and tuned F12s. There's a twin turbo Huracan I was about to ask Paul, but I'm almost certain that blue Huracan they pulled in was twin turbo. That is the Vorsteiner 458, which I saw at SEMA, which I think is so cool. I'm not certain about the back end, but the rest of it I love. Yeah, go on, this morning's really picked up. This is like the last one I came to. When I came out on the first day, I was like, this place is amazing. This place is amazing. And just when you think a Vorsteiner 458 is gonna be the coolest thing that you're gonna see today, a 275 drives in. What is happening? Oh, it's the 
perfect ending! Oh, you genius! I love you! Wait for it. Who cares about the rest of the cars? They're all crap. They're all crap because look at this baby! I've been told that this is actually the last event of the year for this Cars and Coffee, so that is why it is so filled with cars. Um, they've actually had to close off the main car park because too much has turned up, so there's a bit of a sort of queuing system going on. But yeah, what an insane way to see out my last day of Los Angeles with all of these cars, beautiful sunshine. Same place I started the trip. Oh, the event store's leaving, didn't even notice. <laughs> Paul, favourite car from today? Twin Turbo Hurricane. Twin Turbo Hurricane, I could have guessed that. Um, it has been an awesome, awesome morning. Uh, I'm so glad I came back to this Cars and Coffee event. It's my final Cars and Coffee event. I'm starting to get a little bit emotional that this is my last one in LA. Don't cry on camera. I'm not going to cry on camera. I'm not. I'm... <laughs> uh, you get in these cars very weirdly. Do you know that? It's huh? a very strange technique you have for getting in these cars. Because I really don't want my uh, Vlog Angie's adventure to end. I don't want today to end either. So we're going to another event. So hot. <laughs> we're going to another Cars and Coffee. Is that one on? Let's get that going. Lots so of cars, lots of coffee. Well, lots of cars, lots of coffee. I don't like coffee, but... I like, you like cars. cars. <laughs> So here we go, event number two. This is Piazza Gran Turismo. There are a ton of cars already here. Let me uh, spin around and show you what's turned up to this one. And the show stealer has turned up. This is fairly outrageous. <laughs> We're all sitting there. It was going to get a cool event. And then this dude turns up in a bloody... Yeah, this one's for none other than I plan my plans. God damn, I'm grand. You gotta give a brother some credit when he advanced. I make your boot like ambulance. I love That's it. really crap. If there was ever a convoy I wanted to be part of, that is bloody it. This is outrageous. A very casual, very nice Ferrari event just got turned upside freaking down. The class, my own device. Got spice on bikes. Run drums to try. And if you can't understand that I'm not too tight, go listen to somebody. Your sweet shit, all right, right, huh, huh, making it right. I think this has officially become the best event, the best car meet event I've been to in my entire seven and a half weeks. This is outrageous. What was supposed to be a secondary, a secondary, hey guys, a secondary kind of like backup event. Oh, we'll just we'll swing by. The, the, Cars are blowing me away! <laughs> what a perfect send off this is gonna be, and more stuff is turning up by the second. With boulders in them, fuck around with rhythm, then break, hit streets, watch the city, bring back reports, put it down. Best the guy here, man, and best guy here. I rock my vans, I'm the van cool man. I don't quite know how I'm going to do this, but I'm now going to attempt to run down the line of cars and point out a few of my favourites or some of the craziest stuff that is here. Things are still rolling in, I'm definitely going to miss stuff, but I'm so excited and hemp hyperventilating, I need to do something which is like a f format. Because otherwise I'm just going to run around like a headless chicken. I don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, let's... Let, uh, Okay, I think we have to kick things off with this Misha Design 458. I've seen this at a couple of events before. It is absolutely crazy, absolutely insane. Why not? Now, at most events, I'd probably include a speciale, uh, given, but we're actually going to skip past that. Because, like, look at things like this. What even, what is going on here? America! 
this is the point where things start to get fairly ridiculous uh, once this Boss 302 Mustang cruises out the way. F12 TDF, sure, as you do. The Huayra that I'm not even going to attempt to get a shot off because look at all the people. I've learned that Paganis send people crazy here in America, as they pretty much do everywhere. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of people. Uh, then we've also got a mad event store. Now, Paul Wallace will know what body kits on that car. I don't, but it's uh, looking pretty good. Make our way down. This is a fab speed 675 LT, I've been told. Which is just, yep, sure, because LTs definitely need more power. LT Spider next to it. A few people gathering around here because this is an Aston Martin DB11. I'm assuming it's not a customer delivered car and it's probably a demo or to do with the dealership. But anyway, so cool to see one out in what's going on with my lens sort yourself out lens why are you why are you jumping around there you go play behave yourself but blacked out db11 awesome and classic late arrival the strad man finally arrives <sighs> i've gone full brit rolled up my sleeves for that extra uh, farmer tan and I think now, as I say, I'm probably going to go towards the exit, as I just like, I like seeing stuff moving. A lot of people are like, oh, you just stand at the exit, go look at the cars. Well, no, because <laughs> I love to see stuff rolling out, and this should be an e epic exit route. So, uh, oh my God, I'm just exhausted. Okay, it feels like most of the stuff has left. The car park has definitely got quieter. There are still some outrageous cars here, including the Huayra. But I've learned this from most events. When Huayras turn up to events, they take a while to then leave. <laughs> and considering that we have to pack, and I have to edit this, and we've got a flight to catch, I can't sit around all day, unfortunately. I've already been here for three hours. <laughs> but this has been the ultimate freaking send-off. The perfect send-off for what has been probably the fav my favorite seven weeks of my entire life. Um, I have been able to do lots of things, drive lots of cars, go to lots of different places, and every single moment I have loved. I've tried to keep up the content as much as I could, my pledge to make a video per day, um, that was my goal. I've definitely had some weaker days, <laughs> and that was largely down to getting ill or having other commitments, but I'm so glad I've managed to do a video every day, and now I'm excited to get back to the UK and launch the sort of next stage in Seen Through Glasses life. Um, as I said before, uh, if you haven't seen any videos, you've missed videos from Vlog Angeles, go back, watch the playlist. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this. And make sure to subscribe for plenty more UK-based adventures to come.